Here is literally everything there is to know about scenes in OBS. This is the basic mechanic to create content in OBS, different configurations of content in OBS, and be able to switch between them and keep them organized. For example, if you want to switch between your first scene and your second scene, you can just click and it'll pull up entirely different content depending on what you've created. If you want to add a new scene, go ahead and hit the plus button down here in the bottom left hand corner and it'll pull up a pop up window where you can name it whatever you would like. I'm just going to leave mine as a generic scene for whenever you create a new scene from scratch. As you can see, there's nothing in sources. There should be nothing in your audio mixer if you have disabled your audio devices, and there will be nothing in the preview canvas. It should be a blank slate, assuming that you have disabled your audio devices. If you want to remove a scene from the list, it's quite easy. Just hit the minus button down here in the bottom left hand corner. Whenever you hit that minus button, it will bring up a confirmation to make sure you are aren't eliminating essential content, hit yes if you want it to go away. You can also stack your scenes over here in the scene section in a way that is more convenient to you, depending on which ones you use the most, or you can put the scenes in order of your program. So for example, let's say I wanted scene three to be the first scene in my program, not the third. I hit the up hash mark down here in the bottom, and then now scene three is on top. So then as I go down the list, it changes the order. Let's say I change my mind and I want to move scene two up to the top. Oh, just kidding. I wanted to move it down one. There's a down hash mark to move it down the list. It just is a cosmetic change, if you will, here within the UI. It doesn't actually change anything about the scenes themselves. To switch between scenes, I've been showing you how you can click them over here to transition. There is another way to do that through hotkeys. The way that you do that is clicking the settings tab in the bottom right hand corner click settings it'll pop open this menu and where you're going to go here is go into the hotkeys menu located right over here click that and then it'll bring you need to scroll down past all the general hotkeys and notice how it brings up hotkey options for all of the scenes that you've already created scene scene two scene three are the ones that i've created there is a switch to scene option for each of these where you can assign a hotkey to each one. I'll show that to you. You also have the options to show and hide any content within those scenes on a hotkey if you're interested in doing that. I'm just going to show you the switching method today. So for the first scene, I'll do A. Second scene, I'll do S. Third scene, I'll do D. You literally just type it in whatever hotkey you want. You hit apply right here and then you hit OK. And then now as I hit these keys, A, S, D, it is now moving between my scenes using a hotkey instead of having to manually click the scenes instead, if you prefer that. There's also something called an embedded or nested scene. There's different terminology for this. Let me show you what this is all about, okay? This is something really cool. It's a really advanced feature with scenes that could be interesting to you. So within a scene, <laughs> you can embed an additional scene. I've numbered them all so you can understand what I'm talking about. Let me just show you what this is. So you click the plus button down here under sources and you can actually add a scene as a source within your scene for some scene -ception. So let's click this button and as you can see, it pulls up my existing scenes that I've already created. So let's say I wanted to add scene two to my first scene. Why would I want to do that? Well, let's say the content that was in scene two, I actually wanted it to show up down here in the bottom right hand corner. I can do that now. As you can see, scene two is actually within scene one now. And I can hit the eyeball button and make it go away or reappear without having to switch to it. Pretty cool, right? If I wanted to add another scene, I would hit a plus button then go to scene and let's just add scene three just to show you the possibilities here and to spark your creativity hit OK. Here's scene three. I could move scene three, the content of scene three to the top left hand corner. So now within this one scene, scene one, I am, can now see the content of scene one here in the middle, the content of scene two here and the content of scene three right here, all in the same preview plane, all with the same possibilities. So imagine in two, it could be a video. In three, it could be an image. Here in one, it could be you on camera. Imagine the possibilities of what you could create with embedded and nested scenes. This is an underutilized advanced feature that allows for unlimited creative freedom to combine scenes together to create new broadcasting masterpieces. And if you'd like me, 
to help you with your social media strategy, your OBS, your online broadcasting, your gear, whatever it may be, your YouTube strategy, awalldigital.com. I do one-on-one video coaching with folks that are just getting started up to multi-million followers, multi-million dollar media corps, you name it. I've helped everybody succeed in online broadcasting. Just go to my website, choose your day, choose your time, enter your information, and boom, I'm on a one-on-one video call with you, helping you succeed in online broadcasting.